Monica. I'm Morgan. And we're going to have some fun today. All right, we're just going to make sure the video is working. Yep. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to wait and see if anybody's here. Make sure you can hear us and see us. We're having some small problems with our internet. <laughs> Like always. Like always. <laughs> I know. The internet. Why internet? It's because we live so far away. You think that's what the problem is? Well, probably. We don't live in the okay. town. Monica Bravo is the first one here. Huh. We love your name. I say that every time she comes on. <laughs> Can you hear us and see us? Make sure you can hear us and see us. Rest and see us. I know I should probably share like the link right to people, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be us, the three of us, Monica. Two Monicas and one Morgan. <laughs> the three M's. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, great. Woohoo. All right. So I don't know why, like what? what? Chris is on. Chris is here. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to get started, and if more people come on, great. But so our plan today is um, we won something from Steve and Steph Resale Killers, and so we got it. I just showed my address. So, <laughs> um, and there. Better be careful. Um, and so we're going to open that, and then we have a foodie box. So we have gotten from them before. It's been quite a yeah. long time. Um, but they usually have pretty good snacks. The fam it's a family owned company um, called Freedom Japan Japanese Market. And they do different boxes. We figured there's three different ones. There's a Pucci, which you get five to eight Japanese snacks for $14.99. There's the original where you get 12 to 16 snacks for $24.99. And then they have a family pack that you get 24 to 32 snacks for $45.99. It all comes from Japan, and they always have a homemade origami in there. Yep. Um, and so we've they've been good to us. Um, they actually once even sent us a free box, which we were, but this one we paid for. Um, because we bought from them, we got an email that they were running a special deal where this is like a family one. How many snacks did you say there was in here? 30? It's 30 right there. So they put it because it comes from Japan. There's 30 in here, and we paid 35 bucks, and that included shipping, which is pretty cheap. So they go to their markets in Japan and actually pick out the snacks. So and try it. And try it, yep. So it's stuff that they actually like. Um, some of the that we have found the Japan and even Korea snacks that are the bigger markets like um, they don't really try it or they get it we even found out some of them they just get it yeah. from like California <laughs> it's yeah. not even straight from the country so this one actually is so that's kind of for sure the plan I have another thing that depending on the time and who's still here um, I went thrifting, of course. It was $3 bag day, and you guys will not believe what I got for $3. So at the end, I'll probably show that. We'll see how, what, if she's in the mood for it. So we're going to first open up our little, gift. our little gift from Steve and Steph. So if you have, I'm sure you guys have seen them. If you haven't, go check them out. They're hilarious. Oh, I thought it'd be so easy. It's not, but it's not. It's really sticky. Oh. Oh. All right. So this is what we got. It says caution. It's a crime scene. There's a little note that says Morgan, Monica, or it says Monica Morgan and Cedric. Cedric's not here. He's at school. Thank you so much for participating in our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Sorry if Steve hurt your eyes with the twerking, which he didn't. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks for making our day and winning first. Hugs and kisses. Steve, Steph, and little Jerry Seinfeld, which 
Morgan's not a big dog person, but she loves little Jerry. And then this is funny. Oh, oh okay. All right. They're giving us a challenge, a food challenge. Oh, no. So they sent us some gifts. Sour candy. It's sour, toxic candies. <laughs> and they sent a bunch of them. And the challenge is, challenge, can you eat these candies without squinching your face? We love these kind of challenges. <laughs> probably. So we probably can do it because we <laughs> like sour. So in this one, oh, cats are going wild, has like crime scene tape on it. Okay. So you know what that means. It was used to take care of somebody. <laughs> Okay, I need a scissor. <laughs> Shizzers! Shizzers! I thought that would be enough. But... Oh, they get pink. I want pink bubble wrap. I just got the white stuff. Where do you get pink bubble wrap from? It's going to be a while. Oh, <laughs> Oh, almost. I'm trying to be careful. Yeah. Holy Hannah. They're really packaged. They really packaged the DNA in here. All right. Yes, they did it. They signed. I wanted my R signed, and they did. See? They <laughs> cool. Okay, so this is that. It's one of their famous box cutters, which I am going to be super careful since everybody seems to be cutting it. And it says, I asked them to sign it or put something on it. So it says, Millers, enjoy your life or else. I <laughs> love it, love it, love it. That's great. So on theirs, they have this part. Okay, cool. That's cool. And then, of course, you have the box cutter, the box cutter which you have to be really careful with. All right. All right. So we're going to do the challenge right away. Okay. Do they have different flavors? Yeah. So they got blue raspberry, black cherry, and apple. What are you doing? Blue raspberry. Okay, I'm doing apple. I can open it. <laughs> I got scissors. All right, I, I, I didn't need scissors. <laughs> yeah. <me>. Is it <laughs> coming out? No. Here. Scissors. I need scissors. Have you guys ever had these? The toxic waste ones? Okay. I don't think they're as good. Okay, I had um 20 when I was in middle school, we did this warhead challenge. So <laughs> we had to put like 20 warheads in their mouths without puckering, and me and this one kid won. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they look like. The warhead ones, I think, taste better than these. Ones. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Two, three. These ones aren't that bad. Mm -mm. They're like sour, hazard dozy sour candies. Have you had Monica? Monica said she hasn't have. Have you had the sour? Uh, what is warheads? Warheads. We like sour candy though, so this was probably that we're probably the worst person <laughs> has to do this challenge. We unpack her up. Yeah, we got this challenge. We've done the sour patch, the, the extreme sour patch ones too. Our tongues were like numb. Our tongues were numb. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, you got us. I think, was there anything? We've tried sour challenges. It was one thing. You, did, you had that, you remember when we did that one um, challenge? We had this one Japanese snack that had yeah. like grape. It wasn't even a challenge. Um, <laughs> the grape gum. Uh, it was this grape gum, and my face was just like it was like the <laughs> thing was this big, and it was the sourest thing I've ever had. <laughs> it was funny. I like these ones though. 
Steven stuff if you watch this send us some more these are the best waste toxic waste ones we've ever had yeah no ones we get here taste so gross Ugh. i'll be putting those in my purse i'm gonna try this you want to try the box better i'm gonna try this oh that's nice Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The first mighty cut. Here. Woohoo! And I didn't cut myself or kill myself. <laughs> All right. We got our drinks. Oh, it like did it everywhere. I thought it was just one spot. This one cuts nice. All right. Open it. Yeah. Yay. All right. So they tell you what's in it. So this is their family. So that's them and their two kids. And then it tells you. So Ken is the dad. He's the one who kind of started it. Snack enthusiast and box packer. And then the wife is. Is it? Sane. Sane. I don't even know how to pronounce She's it. She's the product coordinator and origami person. And then Julia and Kevin are their kids. And they're official taste testers and quality control. So this was a limited edition. I don't even want to try to say <laughs> that. Okay. Fuku Buku Ruo snack box. <laughs> so this was a special one that they did. So around New Year's in Japan, stores traditionally pack their extra merchandise in bags, seal them, and sell these mystery bags, or Funko Buko, for crazy old price. We used our stock to fill up boxes that are double the size of their regular boxes. So that's what it is. And then, which, just on here, it tells you, well, I guess on this one it doesn't, but usually they have a list of what everything is, but this is just telling telling you and then they like you to share because they are newer so then they like you to share it on like the different sites that they have so we always do that yeah. and then the origami is a tie <laughs> those are always cute i think i have a couple of them yep. put away all right here we go Look, <laughs> i looked <laughs> Good. So we're just going to first, like we always do, show you what's in here, and then we'll kind of pick some. Fried potatoes. Yum. <laughs> Yummy. The do-it-yourself candy kit. This is a do-it-yourself candy kit, which is huge in Japan. Japan. We won't be doing those because they take forever, but my kids love to do them together. So hopefully there's a couple of them in there. Oops, you the biggest thing. Okay, we got some of these. Cookies. Cookies. Like cookie. Sour. Sour cookies. cookies. Ooh. Let's see if that makes us pucker up. I love these. These are amazing. They're like caramel corn, corn puff chips. What? Oh, well, this is a garlic one. So they have lots of different flavors. It's, this one's probably garlic and cheese. They have a caramel corn. They have a, what did we try? It? Hot chocolate. That one wasn't very good. Lots of different flavors. But they're pretty good. Never tried this flavor though. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> soda. Ramane. It tastes like soda. Yeah. Ramane means soda. Yeah, the stuff from Japan. Yeah, so this is direct. So this family lives in Japan and then they go to the stores around them and they pick up all this stuff and then so it's straight from <laughs> Japan. So, like, you can see it's from Japan. But you get some of the boxes, you don't see that, but they say it's like from the official places. But we have done our research and real and we've tasted like we've gotten one from one box and one from actually like a Japan and it tastes completely different. Mm -hmm. So we did a little research and found out that the one from the other box, they get it from California. California. Oh, you get two of these. We'll save those. Maybe those will be in a giveaway. Those strawberry things. We had these before. They How do we meet this family? 
Yeah. I think they it was the it was the video. You were eating the oh, chips. I had so this is a I did a video way back and I actually just sold these chips because I couldn't eat any more of them. <laughs> but I had found these chips and I just loved them. I could not stop eating them through the whole video. <laughs> yep. And the dad ended up watching that video and then he reached out and said, I can get you a huge box, which I think there was like fifty yeah. in the box. And send them to you for really cheap. And so he did. And so then we got talking and he's like, you want to work together? I'll send you a family box too if you do a video on it. So we did. Yep. And then we ended up, we really liked it. So we ended up supporting them and buying, I think, one or two boxes from them ourselves. This is our third one we actually have paid for. So that's how we found them. Um, and so they do have a special website. I've put the link for their website down below. Their prices are pretty cheap. You can get a small box, and I, that's including shipping. I don't know how they do it for so cheap, but they do. Okay, so these are famous. I don't know what kind this one is. Peppermint? No, it looks like it's that um, where the cheese and oh. tomato on. But these are like big, huge Cheeto puffs. Cheeto puffs. They're huge, and they come in like 5,000 different flavors. Yep. All right, we haven't had this one though, but see, and then they kind of put a pitcher so you kind of know. It's like that tomato and cheese thingy. Cream cola. We had we've had these. these. The lemon. Huh? They're pretty good. Yep. See, and these. The nice thing about these people, you get like, oh, here's another one. These things. It's kind of that same thing. This is the ice cream, vanilla ice cream one. We haven't tried this flavor. Um, you get like the big packages, so sometimes in some of them you don't get this many big packages, but with them you do. Corn puffs. Corn puffs. Have we, we haven't had those ones. That's what we love about this place is that we always get different things that we haven't ever had before. Oh, there's a whole bunch of these again. <laughs> I don't know what flavor this is. You can search them up. You know. Yeah, so Morgan knows how to search them up. We won't try all of these. Oh, this one's broken though. Oh, well. we'll pick a couple, maybe. Another one. We've had that one. Yep. What is that one again? Pizza, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Here's. Oh no, this is different. This is like chocolate. It's a little biscuit with chocolate inside of it. Yum! I got the good stuff on my side. <laughs> oh look, it has like an anime character. Come on, out. oh. The Korean bear. You might just have to save that one and not eat it and put it in your <laughs> stuff. Or we'll have to take it out. <gasps> koala bear, koala bears. These are so good. You can buy these in your stores. Or the Hello Panda. The Hello Panda they're kind of like, but we like I like the koala. And this is strawberry. So it's a little biscuit, and then inside it's got like a strawberry filling. But even the Hello Pandas are so good. Oh. Your kids would love them. You'll love them. I eat them all the time. That's so good. Another do-it-yourself candy kit. Oh, two. You can both. So this is what's nice is like you get sometimes they'll send two of the same because they have two kids. So for like my family, it works great because then they can each do one themselves. Oh, one more of these. Is that him again? Yep. <laughs> I don't know what flavor this would be. I don't know. It looks like some melon or something. <laughs> Put that on your side. <laughs> these ramen things. Oh, these are so good. So this is like a snack. It's like ramen, and then it's got a seasoning pack, and then you just shake it all up, and you eat it hard. Like, I like them. She doesn't like it. And this one looks like curry. Wait, in the back? You can put it in... Oh, you can cook this one. Yeah, you can cook Or you can eat it crunchy. I like to eat them crunchy. There's still more. There's still more. What are these? Watermelon? Looks like watermelon seeds. It's weird. <laughs> That's interesting. Never seen that before. More of these. Yeah. Yay, from me. I like to eat those. Hopefully they're not spicy. This is cream rusk. Some kind of pastry, pastry thing. I love. That's it. Oh, that's not it. That's the last thing. It's a baby game. What is it? I don't know. Looks like it's grape. It's some. It's really small. But they have the cutest packaging, don't they? Oh, I love 
we love there. Okay, what are we trying Chris first? Chris says, I love ramen. I love ramen, too. Oh, she is. I'm a huge ramen fan. We just ordered a box Can that will be coming me? that um, from Japan, Japan too, that for some ramen. She's going to do a vlog of tasting, testing them. But she loves ramen. Okay, what else do we got? Monica said, I live in Los Angeles, and there are a lot of Japanese communities here. I wonder if I could find that stuff here. Try it. I buy the bad for you kind, the, um, what's that? Yisan. The Yisan one, the little ones. The cup ramen. <laughs> no, the cup ones, or do you buy the package ones? The package ones for the buck that you can yeah. get at Walmart. Yeah, those That's not gross. real ramen. That's gross. That's, she don't like that. It's good. That's good, though, if you make it up, you fry it, you put some eggs and tomatoes yeah. in there and kind of fry it up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, made that one time. Yeah, that's good. So you do, like, a scrambled egg and um, tomatoes in there, and then you put the ramen and you kind of fry it up. Oh. So I'm she's Cambo Cambodian, and I was with her dad for a while, so I love to cook some Asian food. And I don't like Chinese restaurants, like especially where I am, unless they're authentic. Oh, Panda like, Express. Yeah, or <laughs> Panda Express. <laughs> like, we don't have one of those. I don't eat a lot of Chinese food unless I make it. We're making Mugu Gai Pan this week. This week. Um, what else do I like? What's that one? Pho. Oh. Is it Pho? Yeah, Pho. Yeah, I love me some Pho. And Monica's in Los Angeles. There's some good Pho in um california all right what are we trying first let's try these <laughs> we're gonna try these i'm hungry i love me some japanese snacks if they're good yeah i'm not using a box cutter for this all right one two three Ooh. yep Ew. <laughs> they're sweet i like these Ew. i like the sweet ones she doesn't Ew. oh is it good chris said that their air code is 614 and then they have a restaurant called 614 oh that's cool that's a cool name i wish we had a foe those are really really sweet you pick something yeah. i just picked that you know what they remind me of? What? Corn, those, um, corn puffs. Corn puffs. They're sweet, sweet, sweet. What are we trying now? Fried potatoes. We already know we like these. <laughs> so show them. They look like french fries. Oh <laughs> You've never had full? Oh my god. Chris. You need to get your some pho in your life. Man, that stuff's that's Vietnamese. Yeah. That stuff's amazing. I love, love, love. I could eat I could they, eat Panda Express and Pho every they day. They have like this gigantic pho bowl that's like about like that big. <laughs> and it's huge. Yum. Somewhere. Yummy. Okay, we're trying this. Okay. You're gonna be sick. You're gonna be sick. From trying everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy, this is like one big cracker. It looks like a piece of bread. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Mm. It tastes like shortbread. Like, that. that's, that's good. Mm -hmm. I got this good stuff on my side. Get on your own side. <laughs> I don't have much on my side. You want a stuff? Why are you on my side? I guess we try this. <laughs> yes, Chris, go get you some and let me know what you think. I wish you could send me some. Is it like rock candy? This one's weird. It is like rock candy, but it like. Crumbled. It's got a really great. This one, like, something weird happened to it. It's got a good, great flavor, though. Hmm. I like the flavor. Thank you. I don't know what I don't it know is. I don't know what it is, though. 
You do. Well, something I have to move. I want to see what these are. Yeah. I like the ones. So they have some of these where um, yeah, they're resealable. I love those. I wish they were all like that. I hope we're not too echoey, but when we eat stuff, I want to do in the kitchen area. <laughs> they're like, they smell like watermelon, like really bad. They're just little, I smell that. Oh. It smells really good. Ready? One, two, three. It doesn't taste like watermelon, though. It doesn't taste like watermelon. It tastes, it. That tastes yucky. <laughs> The yucky pile. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess we try one of these. Let's try this okay, one. wait. We got these ones. Which one? No, don't do that one. What's that one? That's um. I don't that's know. soup. You want to do that one? I guess that's up to you. Cause uh -huh. here you got this one's so big. This one's different. Let's, Let's try this one. one. We're gonna try this one. This one looks different. All right. I smell it. So that's what they look like. <laughs> like <Jackie>. big, huge. <laughs> <laughs> that one's good. Mm. You want to try a different one? No. <laughs> I don't really like them. That's all you I have like on my side. Except for the ramen A. Oh wait, I have these. I have these. You wanna try these? Mm -hmm. One for you. Oh. One, this is supposed three. to be sour. <laughs> oh no. Here we go. One, two, two three. three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just got like a, it tastes like play doh. It's not even sour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cleanse that palate. Let me take a bite of this. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, your turn. I don't know what that was, but that was yeah. awful. <laughs> Look, girl. Well, that's your side. Okay. You know, you got more. Okay, okay we're going to try the ice cream. Ice Have we had this? No. Never had the ice cream before. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> we don't pretend like you'll see some people like you know like because we've had it and so you'll watch them like eat it and they'll be like this, mm, mm, this is wonderful beautiful. and you're just like whatever you are full of it like that stuff tastes <laughs> like crap like like they have which i'm glad we didn't get any like that's the worst thing so far but like a lot of like squid wasabi, wasabi squid fish flavored stuff and you see these people seaweed. like eat that stuff. it's in seaweed it tastes gross you guys and people will be like this is so good and we were like you're so full of it <laughs> stuff is disgusting what's wrong with you people <laughs> so Smells good. Smells like vanilla ice cream. So that's like what. Wasabi squid. Ew. Ew. <laughs> One, two, three. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. It tastes like ice cream puff candy. Yeah. On that one? They yeah. are good. We'll just sit here and keep eating these. <laughs> Try this. Mmm. Those are good. These are good too. Bro! <laughs> 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 You're eating that one. She's trying to give me the one that fell on the floor. <laughs> one, two, look at the. They look weird. <laughs> one, two, three. 
That was weird. <laughs> They're good, but weird. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I like it. That's on your side then. <laughs> colon. We're gonna eat some colons today. Everybody needs a little colon in there, like cream colon too. Do you like a little cream colon? <laughs> I don't open them very nicely. <laughs> Get on out of here. I know colons are good, right? Have you ever had um, chitlins? What are those? Intestines? Ew. <laughs> Big intestines? <laughs> Chitlin? That look like a colon? Hmm. Mm, that's good. That's so gum. She's like a lemon cookie. That's okay. Yeah. Those are gum. Oh, it's turn. They got a little coconut flavor. Here, here. Some coconut after flavor. Oh, I teared there, but what happened? I teared right there. Oh. Like that? Here. That'd be smarter than the box. That'd be smarter than the box. I've had titlin. You Just have? Some greens, collard greens. You have? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -mm. <laughs> that stuff stinks when they cook it. Okay, so they have. Have you guys ever had Hello Panda? We have three people. Who else is here? Us. <laughs> no, nope, somebody else came on. Have you ever had Hello Pandas? They sell them in the market, but these are um, Hello or these are koala ones, but they have little pictures. What's yours look like? Like that. Is it the same? No, show them yours. <laughs> Let's see. Go closer. It. They're really good. So they're a little biscuit and they always have like, so kids really like them. And so then it's a hard biscuit and then inside you can get chocolate, strawberry, or vanilla. I like the vanilla. I like the vanilla. I like the chocolate. Um. I eat the filling was in the other one, but they're good. They're not too sweet though. They're kind of like a animal cracker kind of, mm -hmm. but they're really good. Kids like them. You'll like them. Careful not to eat too many of them though, because like sometimes you eat a whole package like that and, and then you get like, sick. <laughs> so much. All right. Like oh, it smells like garlic. What's it smell like? Garlic. Keep the vampires away. Monica said we have a place called Dawson, and they have a lot of stuff from Japan. Cool. Do they also have, like, the figurines and the toys and stuff? Mmm. Want to try now? Sure. Sometimes it takes two bites. They seal. Never heard of that. Those are alright. They're really garlicky. Mm -hmm. They're just like a puff chip. Well, last thing. I last have. thing. Oh, what happened? Mm -hmm. You first. Okay. Or do we want to do? Because we just we did these before. They're like a little strawberry thing. I can't remember. Do we like? We didn't like them, did no, we? No, we didn't. I guess we'll try that. I guess we'll try these. These ones are already flavored. I'm gonna show them. No, <laughs> I'm not spilling this time. So these ones are already flavored. Sometimes you got to put the flavoring in them. Right. So they're just. Take that. It's chicken flavor. 
Ew, I hate chicken flavor ramen. <laughs> These aren't the best ones. They're kind of stale. Yeah. Oh, do a little curry at the bottom. This one's alright. Not my favorite. I've had better ones. I like the ones that are really skinny and really, really crunchy. <laughs> I keep eating them. Oh, that's, it. that's it for the food. Favorite thing? Probably the colon. That was your favorite? Yeah. My favorite were these. Those are good too. Those are good. All right. I'm gonna kind of. I gotta go throw some in the way, and then I'm gonna grab, grab something, and show you guys what I got today for three bucks, three whole dollars, and tell me if you guys think it was worth it. Hi. Hi. I'll stay away. What? Oh, are they saying hi to you? No. <laughs> You're not going to talk. <laughs> You're going to have just like five minutes of you just to be nice. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Chris said hi to you. Jeez. Monster truck. So I got everything in this bag. I got this Wilson tennis racket. <laughs> so... <laughs> deal it, deal it. <laughs> I came home one day, went to the bathroom. I, to the bathroom, I was gonna take a shower after dropping Cedric off. How long ago was this? Like two weeks ago? Yeah, I think so. Like two weeks ago, and I heard a hiss, like a sss, and it freaked <laughs> me out. I jumped, jumped out of that bathroom so quick. <laughs> In my buff, <laughs> you like ran into yeah, my room. room. I ran into my room, put on my pajamas, and like <laughs> when I got Morgan, I'm like, there's something in there. <laughs> there's something. Morgan's like, grab something. I went looking everywhere for something. Couldn't find anything. It's the for broom. Except for a broom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how do we not have any tennis rackets or anything like that? Because I think it's an animal. So I'm like, okay, you got to come in there with me. So she's like, all right. So like I'm pulling out my clothes and like whacking them with the broom. <laughs> making sure they Whacking like, everything. I the then went like in there and I was like whacking everything with the broom. And I'm like trying to hear nothing. We can't find anything in there, you guys. Not one thing. <laughs> Poor deer had to like sit in the bathroom with me while I took a shower because I was afraid to go in there by myself after that. And I'm like, we need a tennis racket. My mom's like, oh, there's one out in the shed. I'm like, really? How is that going to help me out in the shed? I'm like, when I'm thrifty and I am going to find a cheap tennis racket, I'm going to keep it in my room. So I found this tennis racket. And it's a Wilson. So that, I think... I don't know if they're worth money or not, but it's heavy duty one. So that can whack some animals, some people, and some ghosts. I'm ready <laughs> to go. Nobody's going to attack me again. So I got that. Like I said, I paid $3 for everything I'm about to show you. You guys see this is a old the Canon calculator and it even has I think this comes out so you can kind of carry it carry it or something I have, it's not coming out so I have to like play with it and kind of figure out what's wrong but I did plug it in and it did turn on I don't know about if it'll print or not so I'll have to test that and clean it up um 
but it's the kind where you have like the power is right there. Weird. Yeah, but calculator some. It's heavy as heck. So I'll definitely be charging shipping on it, but I just have to figure out the carry mechanism thing. Oh, I almost had it. So something's not working right there. Oh, here, I got it. Oh, it's not a carry thing. It's a thing so you can, like, have it, like, tilted up. So it's, like, I can't really see it. So see it, like, does like that. Yeah, it's so cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. So much stuff. Okay. I gotta figure out how to pull this out. All right, that made me clean right, right now. Oh, figure that out. So this is how I look at it. Like, I just paid three dollars for that, and then everything else was free. <laughs> Uh, but then, I don't know why I picked these up, but some I think um, Tanya from Fuji Treasures was saying that sometimes these types of things do well. So I was just thinking about like maybe selling a full. Oh, Chris has been bidding on something on Goodwill auctions, and he just lost his first two Goodwill <laughs> auctions. <laughs> He's going to be bummed. He's hooked. You get hooked on that place real quick, Chris. But you'll find more, Chris. I always do it. I lost one of my auctions today, too. It was a lot of three pounds of Disney watches, and the person was bidding me too high, and I had to walk away. But I've won two so far, and I think I got, I think, three more, three or four more Disney ones I'm bidding on. And then I'm bidding on two puppets for Cedric. Puppets for uh -huh. Cedric. <laughs> right. Then I got some Disney sandals. And I got some, what brand is this? Faded Glory. Little girl shoes. Let's go with my lot of shoes that I do need to wear. I don't know why I bought this, <laughs> to be honest with you. It looks interesting. I don't really do cuts, but for some reason this, like, stood out. Stood out. Let me see this. Uh, an interesting little cup. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked that up. I don't know anything about it. I didn't look anything up. I didn't even bring my phone in with me. So this is really cool. Like I said, I didn't look any of this up, so I don't even know if it's yeah. worth anything. But it's a marble. It's very heavy apple paperweight. It's really heavy. You feel it. Wow, it's heavy. It's heavy. So I don't know if it, it's some type of stone. But... And then it looks like a real like apple core in there too, which is kind of cool. I grabbed that. Yeah, that cup is different. That's what I thought. And it was kind of funny. And then can you see this? I don't know anything about Eagles peanuts. But it's got like the whole like baseball park, which is really cool. The graphics. I don't know how new it is though, because it does have like like that kind of a tag on it. But it does look a little older, but and it's not vintage, vintage. But it's really cool. So I picked that up. It's got a little stuff on it. I don't know. And then, let me see. There's a bunch of jewelry in here. 
So a lot of this jewelry, I'll go through it. I'm just going to quickly. There's some like rustic die cast stuff. There's some sunglasses with in here. It's like a bunch of just um, some good crafting type uh, jewelry is what's in here. There wasn't a lot. Usually I, last time I got a bag just of jewelry and there wasn't a whole lot. I'm not sure about that. It, it, this one is marked but I can't see what it is. And then this is a copper bracelet that you could add some trinkets or something to it looks like. So that one. But usually what I do... Oh, Dwayne's here. He says, good morning, Morgan. Good morning. He already talks to me today. He's over me. <laughs> Carol said you didn't get a notification that we were live. Why? I don't know why. We've been live for a while. But so I, I will put some of it in like um, I'm making up craft lots and then the good stuff I'll make I'm making up um, lots for like uh, for um, jewelry jars. Some of it, the stuff that I don't want to personally sell. But there's some cute stuff in here. Like this is like this is Liz Claiborne. I don't know how well Liz Claiborne sells. Carol would know, but brand new. So I grabbed all that. Did you guys, Carol and Dwayne, did you see my calculator? Oh, Carol, you would know. You sell a lot of tin. We got 182 subscribers. Oh, we're almost at 200. <laughs> we can't believe it, you guys. Like, we're just like. Okay, so I got all this from my honey my honey spot. So this is like the thrift store I go to. I go usually, this is the week I go. And so today was $3 bag day. So I go for there. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. Um, and then tomorrow they mark down the new, it's 70% off of a new color. And so I will go tomorrow. <laughs> Um, because everything will be 70% off. And so I usually grab quite a bit at that point. But I am trying to cut back. I didn't buy any clothes. I didn't even look at the clothes. I was so happy. I did buy some shoes, though. Two pairs of kids' shoes. And then, but this, Carol. Will this sell? It's not super vintage, though, because it's got the sticker on it. But it's so cool. And then I got a Wilson tennis racket so I can kill people <laughs> if they try to attack us. And then I'm going to show you guys again. I know people, I got a message from one person saying, stop showing things more than once and just hurry up. Don't talk about it. Just move on. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Carol says all tins are so. And then I don't know much about cups. But this is pretty cool cut. The graphics are hilarious. I love it. It's so funny. <laughs> okay. Let me put this away real quick and then I'll grab that calculator again. Wow, oh, this apple is heavy. But I got it all this. The tennis racket, and I got a bunch of these like crafting books, a bunch of jewelry. Yeah, the, I love the cup. Um, for three dollars, you guys. Oh, it was a good deal. How you get the calculator? My calculator is huge. So it's a Canon. It's oh, or is it? it's older because it's got the switch. I don't know if it prints, but it turns on. I tested that, and then it's got which it, there is some issues. It doesn't always. It took me a while to get it closed. So I kind of have to figure out now. I can't or get it open. Now I can't get it. There it goes. So this opens and closes. It's a little stuck. 
as a bookkeeper. I thought it was more like a professional one, not like it's pretty heavy duty. It says computes with the limits for A class B computing device pursuant to the parent of parts. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? That's what it says. And it's got like the model number on it. So I got all that for like, yeah, it's got nice big keys for $3. I'll have to test it to see if the paper feed works. It's pretty cool, I thought, for $3. It's heavy. It's heavy, though. So I have a question for you guys for reselling. When you guys resell and an item is heavy, do you, how do you ship it? Do you ship it you, United States Postal Service? Like in a flat rate, like, like this wouldn't fit in a flat. Well, I guess it might fit in like a large flat rate, which is like what, 18? It would not fit in a regional A or B. Selling e on eBay. How would you, sh how do you ship big items like this? So Dwayne says FedEx. Now I have found that UPS is really cheap. So I sent something to somebody that was, what was it, like almost, am I touching you? No, this chair is uncomfortable. Oh. It was like 20 some pounds. Go get sad chair. I'm okay. Like almost to 20 pounds and it was really, really cheap. So, Carol says she just does United States Postal Service because she's too cheap. But like the package I'm sending to Dwayne and I'm sending one to Carol, they were heavy and UPS was the cheapest. So I was just wondering what other people do. I don't know why I didn't want to block Dwayne. Dwayne wanted to block your comment. Did you see that word? Yeah. Dwayne said, they all suck. Pick the cheapest. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Regional A side load if it fits. I know, but a lot of my stuff doesn't fit in there. So I'm learning like UPS really. I have all of those boxes, but sometimes they don't fit. And then Monica said she's still new and still exper experimenting. Okay, I'll give you another little tip that we just learned, what, two weeks ago? Last week? Mm -hmm. iPhone 6 Plus has a disease. <laughs> Did you guys know this? They have a disease, and Apple knows about it, and they're not telling people. So a couple weeks ago, Cedric's phone stopped working. Like, it would work. It would pull up, but you couldn't touch it at all. I took it to one of our, um, we don't have an Apple store, but we have, no, it's where they can fix it. They're Apple certified. Yep, the touch disease. And it's a defect that Apple, um, the way they made it. And <laughs> yeah, I think it might be. <laughs> be careful, Dwayne. <laughs> it might be contagious, but. What we found out is that because of how Apple made the iPhone 6 Plus, the touch thing is a problem. And so his phone was out of warranty. So when I contacted them, they were trying to tell me, like, you have to pay $150 to have it fixed. And I fought them and said, no way. I already paid $700 for this phone. Uh, you know, you guys have known about this problem. You haven't told us. You, you've not let anybody know you haven't done a recall, which is what you guys should be doing with these phones because it's a problem with all of them. I'm like, I'm not paying for it. You guys should just fix this for free. And they fixed it for free. And here they sent. Luckily, my phone's on with you. Yeah, she has my old iPhones and it's not doing it. But be careful. What I think is that once you start noticing 
any issues, like contact them right away. So I sent it in last week, right? Right. And today they sent me a brand new iPhone 6 Plus. Brand new. They didn't even fix it. They just sent me a brand new one. So he went to a Android. He went to a Motorola. So I get to sell a I well iPhone 6 Plus. I might actually maybe give this one to her and sell her old one. I don't know yet. But yeah, you have to fight for everything. I agree. And it shouldn't be that way. Customer service like is not as great as it used to be. I was just telling my mom, this is my mom, that's what she does for work is customer service. And I was just telling her, like, I'm so frustrated when you buy stuff from certain places and like you can't talk to anybody. Dwayne said until it squeaks too much, then it gets replaced. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I don't know, most of you know, I'm pretty loud and don't have a problem kind of holding my own, so. Yeah, <laughs> like, sure. They just want to, like, be done with me. And I'll be, like, on the phone with one and chatting with another one. Like, I just become an abundance of annoyance. Yeah, my mom will be like, can I speak to, to it? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else? Can I just speak to your manager? Can I speak to your supervisor? Yeah. And one lady kind of, like, wants to go back and forth about there's no reason why I should need to speak to her supervisor. She ended up hanging up on me. It was crazy, you guys. Well, that's all we have. We ate a bunch of snacks. My tummy hurts now. I knew her tummy would hurt. She <laughs> always need, wants to do the food. I need real food. She always now. wants to do the food boxes and then... Next thing I know, my tummy hurts. Right. <laughs> Doesn't ever work out. So we'll let you guys go back to work. We're going to clean up this mess that she made. <laughs> <laughs> clean up the mess. Get ready. It's 1130. Maybe I can list a few things. What? Dwayne lived in Japan for a year. Yeah, Carol, look at it from the beginning. We got um this from Steven Stuff. And they even gave us, whoops, I have it upside down. They even gave us a little note on ours. And then we did the toxic waste challenge. We won. I don't know what we won, but we won. Yeah. What do we win? <laughs> we had to ask Steven stuff what we won. Have a great day, Monica. Thanks for watching. Dwayne, I want to hear more about you living in Japan for a year at some point. Yeah, it's it's blood. See, they I said I want it signed in their blood. I think it's Steph's blood. See that? <laughs> it's awesome. Like this one is worth a lot of money. But I'm never selling it. Okay, what else do I got going? I'm bidding on an auction on liquidation.com even though I said I wasn't going to, but I was on Chris's show last night and got the bug. And then I got him hooked on shopgoodwill.com. He was a U.S. Dwayne was a U.S. Marine station in Okinawa. Okinawa. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That'd be so cool. She wants to go there so bad. I'm like, we're never going there. <laughs> yeah, for South Korea. Mom, oh, my like, gosh. Nope. We're not going South there. South Korea will, like, hurt us. Yeah, I am bad for shopping. South Korea won't hurt us. We're thinking of North Korea will hurt us. North Korea. I yeah. always get it wrong. Yep. <laughs> so um, I am, like, I know, I'm bad for shopping. But it was $3 a day. Like, how do you pass a $3 a day? And then 70% off days tomorrow. Like, how do you pass that up? But winter is coming, and so, like, you can see, like, today, like, I usually would come home with, like, three or four bags, mm -hmm. and there was, like, nothing there. So, like, now, this is what happens is in our area, now that, like, fall and winter is coming, the stuff people don't turn in a whole lot. What do I need help with? 
Shopping? Should I tell you guys what I won on Shop Goodwill? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Because I've won a couple things on there. I can get that up. Dwayne, have you ever bought from Shop Goodwill? You can sometimes get good clothes for cheap on there. You're addicted to shopping. I'm addicted to selling. And so I have to <laughs> buy things to sell. I don't keep, I really keep anything. Go get my puppy I kept. It's in my room. Where is it? It's in my room. Where is it? By the mirror. I kept one thing recently. I don't usually keep very much. I usually, I'll sell it. Or I'll send it to Carol. <laughs> okay. I kept this. I speak. He doesn't speak though. But he does. But he's so cute. I love him. He reminds me of the dog that you used to draw for me when yeah. I was little. I used to draw a dog that looks like this. But this is the only thing recently that I have actually kept. Now I'm in the look for like 3X to 4X um, hoodies. <laughs> Denial. I don't keep a lot of it. My mom and the kids keep more than I do. I do love shopping though. Like I should be a personal shopper. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I got. Shipped orders. So I don't like it on here. This weekend I won. I'm trying to get it to open. It's different on five pounds of Disney jewelry. Oh, no. <laughs> and then this isn't the one. I just won that one. There's another one. Oh, because I didn't show. So I won a five pound one that I paid. What did I pay for it? Forty-seven dollars and ninety-four cents. I won a. Oh, I already did that one. It's being weird on my phone. I won a Disney lot. It's huge. I don't even know if I can get the picture to show up. That one I paid a lot of money for. But there's some good stuff in there. And then I bought another assorted with some pins in it. So three. And I think I'm bidding on two more of Disney stuff. And then should I can see if I can open. Cedric's in some puppets right now. <laughs> That one. <laughs> I'm trying to get him that one. Oh my gosh. Carol, I, bu I bought a, a, I tried to be sneaky. Carol had a rat puppet on her store and I tried to buy it from her. And then she's like, you were supposed to buy it. Now I'm going to send you more stuff <laughs> <laughs> with it. <laughs> and then we open this one. No, the taffy I like isn't from Disney. Um, oh, I have found it. It's um, they sell it at Walgreens. it's Walgreens in Florida. Oh. Wow. Our internet is so slow out here. Some days it works really good, and some days it doesn't. Open up. Here oh my gosh! This one is so cool. <laughs> okay. No, go back. <laughs> and I'm trying to win on that one. Yes, it's got a gator on the package. So good. It's like, Carol, the stuff for Maine was good, but even my mom said, like, this stuff, 
<laughs> this taffy, this gator taffy, like it is the bomb. Like there's no butter taffy. My mom is just like, it's not the same. And it's not like once you have it, like no taffy tastes any butter. I used to have a picture of it. I don't think I do anymore. The taffy. I'm going to see if I can find it. It's like gator taffy. Gator taffy. Dwayne knows what I'm talking about. Dwayne, have you had it? Yeah, all she has to do is go, <laughs> go to the Walgreens. It's cheap, too. It's not even like... <laughs> I can't find it. You did pour the taffy. Yep, here it is. This is one of the small boxes. You can't find it anywhere. So you can buy it on, I now have found you can buy it online. I think I can. I just haven't done it. But you. we got, so the one that I like, it's huge. It's like a big bag. It's like a big, no, it had the container thing mm -hmm. and there's a big bag of it. And it's cheaper. So like on here, it's so expensive. But it is the bomb. It's so good. Oh, we're, I'm hooked on that. I mean, all of us are. We're all like, <laughs> it's the best. Do you go with your mom to Florida? My mom's right. I'm going to New Orleans on, I think, on the 23rd. And my mom is like, there better not be a hurricane. Hurricane, <laughs> huh, Queen? She stay, she's got a thing in Disney. That would be cool. We went, the, we, the first time we went was in November. November. And that, that was, was the best. best. It was the best time oh, ever. Hello, Grandpa. <laughs> it was kind of creepy. It was so, the weather was so nice. Yep. And then the next time we went was over, it was In last October. year, it was over Halloween. And that was horrible. horrible. It was so busy. It was so hot. We were so miserable. It was so bad. And we <laughs> ate at McDonald's almost every day. It was horrible. <laughs> like, I was like, I got home, like, they're like, let's go to McDonald's. I'm like, I don't want to eat McDonald's for like a month, you guys. And <laughs> why did we go to Florida and eat McDonald's? It was, it was the only thing close to our hotel. <laughs> Carol said it's Brian's mom. Carol doesn't like Disney. Haven't been since I was 13. Oh, We should go to Disneyland instead <laughs> next trip. I Where was that one? We also went to Holly. No. Universal, Universal Studios, Studios is pretty cool. We went the wrong way, yeah. though. We tried to do it all in one day. That's insane. Don't do that. You got to, like, do that in, like, two days, sometimes more. I wouldn't mind going there. That was that was fun. That was fun. The tater tots. I remember those little tater tots. Oh, oh my gosh. God. We went to, it was, like, the, was it The Simpsons? Yeah. We it went is. to, the Sim like, a restaurant that was, like, The Simpsons, and they had these tater, tater tots. tots. Oh, oh, my gosh. Nothing else was good, but the tater tots <laughs> were amazing. Chicken, chicken strips were okay. What did I get? I got something. It was really salty. It was really yeah. yucky. So I ate the tater. I ate some of her tater tots. <laughs> <laughs> but Universal Studios closes really early compared to like Disney and stuff. But it's a, it was a fun experience. It's expensive, like to travel. Yeah. We're not traveling anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, at least I, I, not with the whole family. But it was kind of fun going to that Beauty and the Beast restaurant. Yeah, this last time. So the first time we went to at Epcot, it was a like a Disney one where the characters come out, and we went there for Thanksgiving. It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. And then, oh, Cedric, Cedric, you're I suppose you must be at lunch. Cedric's in the house. In the house, Cedric. <laughs> so, like, look what I got. I 
I got weapons, Cedric. Weapons, weapons. <laughs> no, you can't have it. That's mine. Give <laughs> me. <laughs> Cedric's in the house. Cedric is at lunch and supposed to be eating. And how many people? How many people are around you watching us, Cedric? <laughs> <laughs> It's all fun when you're at school, Cedric. <laughs> you're not getting it, said. This one is mine. You have enough. <laughs> oh, Parenthood Picker is live. We should probably go so everybody can go watch him. Who watches? I know some of you. I haven't watched much of his videos. We could stay live with just Cedric and Carol like all day. <laughs> I said you're not getting nothing done. Carol, are you feeling better? I want to know that. And who like wants to watch? Like, I wonder if people like get annoyed when they rewatch these videos. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, hope you're feeling better. I know you haven't gotten to do much work because you're not feeling good. Cedric, you can have this. I don't know if he's still watching. You want this, son? That's what you can have. And Dwayne said, Anastasia Confection is the maker of your taffy. It's my taffy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carol's so sick with no voice. Oh. I think Cedric left. Yep. He keeps missing when I show the things I'm getting for him. <laughs> he was on Chris's show and I showed him and then he was on here and he missed it too. Oh good. So you're feeling better that you can list. That's good because you weren't able to do much. All right. We're going to go and packing junk up for me. Great. <laughs> I got a junk for you. We're like... Me and Carol are like trading junk to each other. <laughs> like we're thrifting for each other. How does that work? <laughs> it's like a fun new, like you send me a box, I'll send you a box. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get to work. Okay. I don't want to work. It's cold and I'm tired, but I gotta work. You guys gotta work. We're gonna go. Morgan's Bye. tired, her butt hurts. Gotta go eat some real food. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.